Mario sees a nice golden mushroom up ahead, but it might be a trap. That's a nice mushroom. Whee! I'm going to go get it. Mamma mia! How am I going to get out of here? Oh no! Mario! Mario! You got to help me, Luigi! I'm going to save you, Mario! Eh, Mario, where is that floaty floaty from? This balloon is because it's a Princess Peach's birthday today! You have to get me out of here or we're going to be late to the party, Luigi! Let's go, Mario! I'm going to save you! Luigi goes down the first pipe to a new city, and little did Luigi know there was going to be a big surprise for him in this kingdom. For some reason, everyone in the kingdom was missing, and it was quiet. Too quiet. Luigi explored around the kingdom, collecting power moon shards where he found them, looking for a key that would help Mario escape. Luigi searched behind buildings. Luigi searched in alleyways. He searched on top of buildings, and he jumped from building to building. Not a person was in sight, but he collected more and more power moon shards as he went along. And after collecting the final power moon shard, not only did a power moon appear, but something more important. After Luigi collects this power moon, a dinosaur appears. Luigi captures the giant dinosaur, and now he can understand why the city was evacuated. This dinosaur stampedes through the entire city, bringing down buildings, destroying everything on the hunt for a key to save Mario. I'm going to save Mario. I need to find a key to get Mario out of the jail. I'm going to search high and low, looking everywhere for the key. After taking down one specific building, parts of a key started to appear. Like an archaeological excavation site, Luigi carefully chipped away at the buildings until the giant key was fully visible. Yahoo! This has got to be the key to save a Mario! Luigi proudly looked at the result of his hard work. He did a spin jump up high and grabbed the key. It's time to head back and save Mario. Luigi tried to use the key on this log, but the key that he got was too big. So Luigi has to go down the next pipe, he goes down the island pipe, and he ends up at this rainy island. And up ahead is Bowser's ship with Princess Peach also there. Bowser, I need the key to save a Mario. Oh, you don't, you don't care that I've captured Princess Peach? Help! Give me the key, you stinky Koopa. All right, how about this? I'll help you get a key, but I get to keep Princess Peach. Deal? Luigi, you can't be serious. Deal, let's go, Bowser. <laughs> Meet me at the Mushroom House at the top of this island. Okie dokie. No, help me. Luigi makes his way to the top of the island, determined to save Mario, and he joins up with Bowser. Oh, I'm a little dizzy. It was a big fall from the top of the ship. Just throw Cappy at me. Bowser is happy to show off his powerful strength, destroying not only enemies, but also breaking through some cages on the island. Hey, Luigi, is Mario in a cage like this one here? Hey, help Mario. I can hear Bowser's voice, but I can't see Bowser. You, you captured me, Luigi. That's why you can hear me thinking. You're controlling me right now, Luigi. Oh yeah, that's all right. Luigi and Bowser destroy a bunch of jails on this island, and they notice that one of these jails has a tiny key inside it. The last key was too big, so maybe this will be the key that can save Mario. Bowser breaks the cage, and they grab the little key. Hey, Luigi, since we got this key, let's go into the water so we can wash up, and then we can head back to Mario and save him. Okie dokie. But as soon as they jump into the water, Bowser escapes. Water is one area where the Bowser capture cannot go, but luckily Luigi still does have his key. Luigi takes the pipe back to Mario, and he tries to free Mario, but he can't because this key is too small. Maybe the next key will be just right. So Luigi goes down the Game Boy pipe next, and he ends up on a giant Game Boy Advance. A really cool area to explore, similar to the Nintendo Switch level that we had in a previous level. And oh boy, I remember spending so much time on my Game Boy Advance. I used to bring that everywhere as a kid, always playing Pokemon Ruby and Super Mario World. Luigi is looking around for where the key might be, destroying some crates on the buttons of the Game Boy Advance here, checking down into where the volume comes out of, but there's just no key to be found. Luigi checks out the screen of the Game Boy Advance, and it is a Poke Center from Pokemon games. Hi, I need to help Mario. Hello, uh, would you like us to restore your Pokemon to full health? No, I need to save Mario. 
Okay, just one moment. We will heal your Pokemon to full health. No, I need to save Mario. That will be $68,419, please. Luigi didn't have $68,419, or even any Pokemon, and he was starting to think he could never save Mario from jail and they wouldn't be able to make it to Peach's party. When suddenly, he realized that a man at the Poke Center had a key here. Mister, mister, can I please have that key? I have to save a Mario. What? what? No, this key is for my what? house. Thank what? you, mister, mister. Stop what? right there, criminal scum. Yeah. No, I guess I'll just sit here since he got away. Luigi tries this third key, yeah. and even though it looks like it is the perfect size, it doesn't what? fit. Mario, how am I going to get you out of the jail? Luigi, we don't have much time left. Mario, Luigi, look what I found. I caught these three guys and put them into cages. Maybe the keys you collected will work on these locks. You can only unlock one cage. The first option is a Sherm, a powerful tank that can blast through almost anything. Whoa. The second option is Bowser. You've seen firsthand that he can break these cages. That might be a good choice. Ah. The final option is a dinosaur. It's really powerful and it can destroy even buildings. Oh. You need to choose someone who can destroy Mario's cage so that Mario can get out safely. Please make a wise choice, Luigi. I'm leaving it up to you. I'm going to choose Bowser. Yahoo! Bye bye, Bowser. You can go free now. I'm going to let Bowser go since he helped me find the key to save Mario. Remember? Luigi, you let Bowser get away. And the key that Bowser gave you doesn't fit in Mario's lock, remember? How's Mario going to get out now? Even though Mario felt hopeless, helpless, trapped by his circumstances, and he felt like all of the problems that he was facing were out of his control, he looked inward and he realized that he got into this mess himself, so he has to get out of this himself. Suddenly, Mario remembered some wise words. The only real limits we have in life are the ones we impose on ourselves. Limitations are all in the mind, nowhere else. With the power of a Tony Robbins speech, Mario overcame not only his inner limitations, but physical reality itself, and he walked out of the cage. Oh, Mario, can we go to the party now? Bad news, Mario! Princess Peach has been kidnapped again! Looks like letting Bowser go free wasn't the best choice after all! I really recommend you watch my video where Mario has the world's most dangerous escape room based on a Mr. Beast video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope the rest of your day is an absolutely fantastic one, and take care everybody!